What's up, guys? I'm Josh Ingles. He's 14-year NHL vet, former Maple Leaf defenseman Carlo Koliakovo. This is covers his Leafs puck drop. The Leafs face off against the two-time defending champs in the Tampa Bay it's Lightning. The playoffs. <laughs> playoffs. The boys might not be wearing undershirts versus these pullovers, but we're ready for hockey. Bunting, doubtful. Andre Kasha, game time decisions. Sheldon Keefe is expecting what he says, a borderline violent series. Vasilevsky was 2-2 two and two straight up with a 2.97 goals against versus the Leafs this year, while Jack Campbell had a 2.3 goals against average this year. And what do we expect? Vasilevsky had a 1.81 in the – or sorry, Campbell had a 1.81 goals against in seven games last year, so let's not throw Jack Campbell under the bus. You want to talk lines right now, Carlo? Do you think those are important right now at this time? Well, look, I mean, it's game one of the series. Um, it's really hard to make any predictions. You can obviously see that coaches are trying to get into each other's heads, playing some psychological warfare. You got Sheldon Keefe setting the tone for his team saying, look, we got to expect the violent series. We've got to engage in the physicality and we've got to be ready to be comfortable to play uncomfortable. And I think that's an important message that he has to share for his team because in order to beat the Tampa Bay Lightning, you have to play that way. This team cruised through the regular season. It's almost like they've ramped themselves up, you know, purposely to play for this time of the year. They're they're they have their one mindset on one thing, and that's making history and trying to create a three feet. And and no better way to do that than in the first round being the Maple Leafs. So for us to sit here and predict what what's going to happen in this series, I actually am surprised that the Toronto Maple Leafs are favored in this series. So far as the sports books are looking at that like like that and giving you know the the plus money value to the the two-time uh, champs in Tampa Bay Lightning but hey this the one thing I can forecast is that this series is going to be a grind it's probably going to be a long one I can see it going to seven games because you got two evenly matched good teams but ultimately at the end of the day I think the playoff ready and the playoff experienced Tampa Bay Lightning could potentially prevail so what are you liking on the leaf side then tonight early well, considering the, the the lines that we saw come out, um, you saw both coaches spread out the talent in their lines because they want to give themselves as much depth as possible to match each other. And for the Leafs, I'm looking at William Nylander right now. He's, he's projected to be on the third line. I think that creates a matchup advantage for the Toronto Maple Leafs because I don't think they have the talent that he brings to, 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 to match what he can bring in the third line. He's a guy coming off of one of his most successful playoff outings last season. Eight points in seven games was their best player in the playoffs. And he's a guy who played in their last game when they sat all their rested players because they want to get him going. He got paid and paid off by scoring two goals. So I'm looking at him over half a point, paying a little bit of juice on it at minus 54. But to think that you're going to get any value with the end of the, the other top players on the team, you're just not going to find it. So pay a little bit of the price, and hopefully he finds a way to hit the score sheet. Yeah, Willie just has a different feeling, you see, like with pressure, I think, versus Marner and Matthews. I just, I just think he's a little looser. So he, mm -hmm. we saw it last year in the playoffs. So hopefully that comes out of the gates quickly. I'm on Austin Matthews over four and a half shots, Ooh. minus 107. I know, like he has so much to prove. Like I could just see him coming out and just firing a ton on the net. The Leafs averaged 37 shots per game versus Tampa this season he had seven shots in the last meeting mm -hmm. he had four shots in five of the seven games versus the Habs last year in round one even though he didn't get too much onto the score sheet he did fire a lot of pucks on net he had that extended rest he's ready to go and I expect him coming out of the gates boom like hot sauce with Marner who also wants to get the monkey off his back <laughs> so they got a lot to prove looking on the other side where are you on Tampa today I got to go with the playoff performer, Braden Point. I mean, again, I'm looking at the point, uh, the point, um, you know, at a window here um, in the market. Over half a point, minus 46. Again, you're paying a little bit of the juice. But look, Braden Point has been such a clutch playoff performer for the Tampa Bay Lightning. He has 73 points in 63 career playoff games, including. 23 in 23 last year on route to their back-to-back -back championship. And this is a guy that could have easily won the Conn Smythe in, in those back-to-back -back seasons if it wasn't for Hedman and Vasilevsky 
putting the award over them. So you know he's going to raise his game to another level. Now, he's missed the last couple of games. He's probably nursing injury. He's declared ready to go. He's probably going to be fresh coming in, be motivated. He's going to be on that second line with uh, who they have here with him, with Hagel and Sorelli. So, you know, playing on the top PP unit, again, if you're looking at Kucherov, Stankos, and any, any of the other big names, you're paying more juice than this. So I think to find the value in one of their best players, I think you're finding it here in Braden Point. Nice. I'm looking at Alex Kalorin over 0.5 points plus money here. We know how valuable guys like Kalorin and Palat are to this team. Probably the more underrated players in the league, two of right. them. I think both are offering great value, but I'm, I'm leaning to Kalorin here. He, he's playing on the third line with Colton and Paul, who I still absolutely love, and they've gelled well since coming over from the trade. But he also gets net presence on that power play that's just absolutely on fire. Scored in eight straight right games. Scorching. What, absolute 14 for 29 over their last eight games. Right. I mean, we're, it's going to be a different game, obviously, in the playoffs, and we might not see as many penalties, but – you can't slow them down the way that Stamkos, the, the, the boys are just snapping it around. 14 for 29 is insane. Kalorn, two goals, three assists in the four games versus Toronto this season. So he does have some success versus them. Finished with 17 points in 19 playoff games last season. And with Cooper likely rolling out this bottom six to set the tone in game one. I really like this Kalorn prop here at plus money for just a point. Anything to add in this game? Anything you might look that the market isn't open yet either? Well, something I'm looking forward to later, I think you got to look at the Vasilevsky saves market because, as you pointed out, depending on what the number is, you got to think that the Maple Leafs are going to come out guns a blazing, try to fire everything at him, get in his grill because they know all the noise around this series is Vasilevsky can be the difference maker. Well, in order to do that, you've got to slay the dragon. You've got to make life difficult for him. You've got to throw pucks at the net. You've got to make his workload very, very high. And so if, if the Maple Leafs aren't scoring goals, they've got to at least think that they're going to be generating a lot of chance for it. There's a lot of pressure on the Maple Leafs to win this game. I, I, I'm categorizing it as a must-win game for them because the last thing you want to do against the Tampa Bay Lightning is to play a series from behind. This is a team that has not lost back-to-back -back games in their last two Stanley Cup playoff runs. So to get the edge on them early to win that first game, get the momentum on your side, get them to start changing the way they play is going to have to be the mindset and at least the goal for them to have success in this series. But ultimately, if you're going to have success, you got to get to Vasilevsky because here's a guy in the last five series clinching games, he's posted a shutout. So he's clearly a guy that could be a difference maker. So get in his grill, keep an eye on that shot total market, and go over the saves um, uh, the prop. All right, game you one. Like you like that? Sorry, brother. Game one. Ready to roll. The boys are a little zip down. <laughs> Let's get it. We got four plays looking for that Vasilevsky prop, and I'm really eyeing that. If that opens at 29 and a half, I'm going to hammer it. Let's wrap this up. Get ready for game day. That covers his leaf puck drop. Best of luck with your action today. Lead us out, brother. It's the playoffs. Grow your beards. Bring your smiles.